In today's Eye on Entertainment report, fresh off the Grammys, James Corden is now promoting a brand new event. And Dr. Phil spills details about a recent talk with Oprah. CBS 2's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now for that story. And boy, you've got a lot today, Suzanne. Oh, yes. Lots of goodies. It's Friday, Yay! so we're ready for the weekend, having some fun. <laughs> so, yes, first we'll start off with Dr. Phil. He was on the talk today. He recently celebrated Oprah's birthday with her, and they talked about her possible run for president. You know, people saw what, how statesmanlike she is. Mm -hmm. What people would really be surprised about is how well read, how prepared, and how broad her knowledge is of world politics and what's going on at a humanitarian level. This woman is. He a said if she gets the job, he told her he wants to be ambassador to Portofino on the Italian Riviera. Okay, who wouldn't want to be, right? And she joked that's the only job she'd want. No, I thought it was going to be till the summer. I thought, oh, this will be a great summer gig. This will be great. Just never left. Emmy winning actress Tracy Bregman looking back, celebrating 35 years on The Young and the Restless today. She's been steaming up the Genoa City scene since 1983 and got her start on the show as Lauren Fenmore when she was just 19. Get ready for the hottest event of the year. No, it's not the Grammys, the Oscars, or the Golden Globes. It's the 2018 midterm elections. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? If nothing can get anybody to vote, this might do it. Now, late show hosts are promoting a new cause. They want to get more people voting in the midterm elections. Comedian Billy Eichner leading the charge after learning only 12% of millennials voted in the last midterm elections. And James Corden, who I talked to today, says everyone should be voting. I think if you were to go to space and look down on Earth, you would never really see these divides that are very much man-made and created by us. Uh, you wouldn't see the joins between state lines. You wouldn't see the joins between other countries. You would just see a globe that is not ours to own. We have to look after it for other generations and future generations and future generations. I love what he was saying. I'm like, can James run for office here? Okay, we also sat down to talk about his new film, Peter Rabbit, which is in theaters today. So you can go check it out starting today. It's adorable. Yeah. We all have that experience with Beatrix Potter. So it's a lovely one for the whole family.